All right, so we have negative 2x plus 4, and that's less than 5 minus 3 times 2x minus 6. I'm just going to point out the first common mistake on this question is going to be students going straight over here and doing 5 minus 3 makes 2. Now, do you know why that's wrong? PEMDAS. Right, good job. So we got to watch out for the PEMDAS, the order of operations. We can't just go 5 minus 3 because that's subtracting first. Um, so we've got to do our multiplications first, multiply before we subtract. So that's the first thing. And um, so we simplify the inequality or the equation and then we solve it. So we've got to multiply in by a negative 3. And here's the next common mistake students would... Uh, would get the signs wrong. Negative 3 times 2x, negative 6x, negative 3 times negative 6 plus 18. You okay with that? Yep, got that. All right, lovely. So, now on the right, I think I can add like terms. I've got a 5 and an 18, right? So that's yes. going to give me a 23. So I got 23 minus 6x. Got that. All right. Now at this point there's lots of things we can do. We can, I'll just go over them. We could add 2x to both sides. We could um, subtract 4 from both sides. We could um, add 6x to both sides. Um, we could subtract 23 from both sides. So lots of things we could do to get rid of the x or the y or the variable from the right side. Okay. And so I, I would add 6x. Okay. Great. Uh, good. Good one. So add 6x. That'll work. So negative 2x plus 6x. Two bad guys and six good guys. Right. Now at this point, it's back to our kind of, kind of really standard kind of linear equation or inequality. So we can just subtract 4, right? Yes. So we're getting this. And that's 19. And Maybe then, I did do it right. You probably, you <laughs> might have. I, I did it right. <laughs> right. So um, putting this on a number line, I would suggest putting that into like a decimal or a mixed number. Because like where's 19 fourths on a number line? I like. I have a hard time seeing that. So I'm going to put that at least into like a, a mixed number. 4 into 16 goes 4 times remainder 3. Because 4 uh, times 4 is 16. Right? So it's 4. So it's 4 and 3 quarters. Right? Oh. So basically yeah. on a number line, you know, 1, 2, 3. Let's just say this is 4 and 3 quarters here. Okay? And that's positive infinity. That's negative infinity. And it's less than... Four and three quarters. So let's use the parenthesis here and towards negative infinity. Okay with that? Okay. Yep. I did it right, Patrick. That's funny. Cool. I just thought for sure. Gosh, that can't be a right answer. That's an odd. Yeah. That's such an odd number. Well, it's, isn't it funny? Um, I joke with my kids about this that like. Um, mass classes are kind of silly because like a lot of the answers work out to be exactly like the number two or the number ten. And that's real life isn't like that, you know. So, right, right. So I say, that's hey, right, that's what... you know, so that, that's that, right. But I, I, it's a funny thing. But at the same time, I get two biggest. The two biggest complaints I get are, um, when am I ever going to use this? And I hate story problems. So. So it's, it's kind of like, oh, yeah. it's a bit of a barrier. We try to build up yeah. the skills with this type of stuff. And then hopefully we can do some of these, you know, story problems that are a bit more real life-ish. And, uh, but anyway, yeah. <laughs>